happy Wednesday and thank you for this opportunity to share the word of God before we start let's let's bow down our heads and let's pray together Heavenly Father we thank you for your word we thank you for giving us the Bible uh, we ask you Lord that you help us to understand the passage that we're going to read and help me Lord uh, to be clear and accurate um, as I try my best to explain this and we ask for your Holy Spirit to speak to our hearts to teach us about you and to transform our lives to be more like your son Jesus Christ thank you our Heavenly Father in Jesus name Amen let's open our Bible to Mark chapter 4 we're gonna read from verse 35 to 41 Mark 4 35 to 31 that day when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that he was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and he was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. So Jesus and his disciples, the uh, they're going to the other side. They're, they had a full day of ministry and Jesus is tired. And here we can, here we find uh, the humanity of Jesus. Jesus, just like us, he understands about tiredness. So he gets on the boat and he sleeps. Isn't it great to know that our Lord knows when we tire when we're tired? Because um, many times we forget that you know in, in Jesus we find his uh, we find that um, in Jesus we find that he's fully human and he's fully God. He's fully divine and he's fully human. We find that uh, wherever we go through in life, tiredness, sadness, um, and disappointments, pain, Jesus experienced those things. So Jesus is in the so Jesus is sleeping, and he's sleeping really well, and the storm comes. And the disciples are panicking because they're drowning. And the disciples woke him up and said, uh, Don't you care if we drown? Of course Jesus cares. What kind of question is that? And Jesus got up and he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. So when Jesus rebuked the wind, he's demonstrating God's power through his word. He has power over nature. And it's no surprise that he has power over nature. Because after all, when God created the heaven and the earth, he was by his word. And in John chapter one, we find that we, we we find that Jesus is that living word that was with God in the very beginning. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Through him everything was made, without him nothing was made that has been made. So Jesus has power over existence. Jesus has power over nature, Jesus has power 
over anything and and by his word just like the way he healed uh, uh, the the paralyzed man in mark chapter 2 or the the man with leprosy in mark chapter 1 how did he, how did he heal those uh, uh, those those people he healed them through his word so what this tells us is that there is power in the word of God there is power in the word of God where do we turn to when we are in difficult situations where do we turn to when we face the storm in our lives we should turn to the word of God just like Jesus displayed God's power through his word we can find God's power being displayed being through his word that we find in the Bible so Jesus rebuked the wind and it died down and the disciples they were afraid and Jesus asked the disciples why are you so afraid do you still have no faith he's asking why are you so afraid because here they have this friend Jesus and here in his friend is also he's also God so in a way that Jesus is asking why are you so afraid right I'm your friend he's fully God he's fully man and this friend has power over nature and not only this friend has power over nature this friend also understands that you're afraid this friend also understands what you go through as a human being this friend also understands when you're tired when you're sad when you're sick when you're experiencing when you're experiencing pain when you when you when you experience disappointment this friend also understands all those things but this friend is also unique because only this friend has the power to overcome anything by his word So Jesus asks, do you still have no faith? Do you still not believe in me? That's what Jesus is asking. Faith in him. Faith that he is the son of God. That he came. That he became man. That he became man and we can come to God through him because no one can come to God unless we come through Jesus because in Jesus we have access to God because in Jesus we come to Jesus in our humanity and Jesus comes to God on our behalf because he's one with God so the lesson that we can learn here is that where do we turn to during this uh, during during the time of need 
we turn to our Lord Jesus and where do we uh, and what do we do when we need uh, guidance we turn to the Word of God because just like the Word of God spoken by Jesus has power over nature the very same Word of God that God has given us in the Bible also has power over our lives let's pray Heavenly Father thank you that you have given us your word that we can turn to your word uh, to experience your power that uh, that through Jesus we have access to you in Jesus name we pray Amen.